Hey, what's up guys? This is Cole with CJC Off-Road and we are excited to show you one of our favorite modifications and that is the Carly Torsion Sway Bar. Uh, we figure we feel this is one of the biggest bangs for the buck in terms of uh, modifications you can do for these trucks and we'll explain why. Uh, this is uh, part of our ongoing series featuring my personal Ram 2500 uh, 2020 truck that we've been working on. Basically, uh, these Ram trucks have some of the stiffest sway bars of any truck you can buy. They're stiffer than the Fords and they, uh, quite frankly, uh, ride terribly for sway bars. Um, as you guys already know, we put on a Carly commuter system on this truck and uh, the ride quality improvement has been substantial. Uh, that said, believe it or not, there is actually more we can offer. Uh, or more of an upgrade that you can uh, do in terms of ride quality. Uh, what we have here is the Carly Torsion Sway Bar. Uh, it runs about $700 at the time of filming this video. And uh, the Carly Torsion Sway Bar, it is a lighter spring rate. Carly's put a lot of time into basically uh, testing a variety of spring rates uh, to find the ideal balance between both uh, ride quality as well as something that retains the uh, drivability and uh, functionality of having a sway bar on the truck. So even though the Carly Torsion Sway Bar is a lighter spring rate, it's very functional. You, you don't get made, you know, body roll, things like that. Uh, still very functional in terms of towing, usability, and that sort of thing. But uh, as uh, we're about to find out in testing, um, there is a substantial improvement in terms of ride quality. Uh, where you'll see the biggest improvements in ride quality are, are going to be uh, pulling the driveways, um, driving on any sort of, sort of uneven terrain, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you guys both and uh, there are other benefits to this as well uh, for instance my 38 inch tires on this truck right now are actually rubbing on the factory sway bar uh, believe it or not uh, carly uh, designed their torsion sway bar to actually uh, be a little more inset against the frame uh, has a little more of a bend to it uh, basically with the intention of uh, creating additional tire clearance so we'll show you guys the differences there as well uh, so let's go ahead and take this truck for a drive with the factory sway bar in it and we'll show you guys what we're talking about. All right, so we found what we, uh, what we feel is an ideal spot to show you guys the differences between sway bars. Now, uh, this is basically a diagonal, you know, minor ditch on a dirt road. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep my head away from the window. Uh, Keep in mind the commuter system that we put on this truck still, you know, it actually significantly improves the ride with the stock sway bar. But believe it or not, there's actually a lot more that you can get, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Keep in mind we're going really slow, about five miles an hour. <laughs> I mean, if I don't if I don't lean away from the window, I would literally hit my head on the window. That's how uh, stiff the factory sway bar is on these trucks. So we're gonna take this truck back, we're gonna swap the sway bar out and uh, show you guys the difference uh, from the stock sway bar to the Carly sway bar. So you guys saw how bad that was and even the video, it's, it's really difficult to convey uh, just how stiff the factory sway bars are on these trucks. Um, but if you have one of these trucks, you'll, you'll probably be well aware of what we're talking about here. Uh, the slightest uh, uh, movement of just one, you know, basically one of the front wheels, uh, really you know makes the truck rock back and forth um, i don't know if you noticed i'd actually lean my head inward just to avoid hitting my head in the glass when you took it over that rut um, so as you'll notice uh, this is not our traditional setting for these videos we're actually doing this in a garage and we have a reason for that uh, the reason being is we want to show you guys just how easy this is to do uh, yourself um, cool thing about the sway bar is it works on both factory trucks as well as lifted trucks Obviously this truck here is a, it's a three and a quarter inch lift. Believe it or not, if you have a stock truck, you can still take advantage of the benefits that the Carly Sway Bar has to offer. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get the stock Sway Bar yanked off this truck and we'll get it swapped out and we'll uh, show you guys as this process goes on. So we'll go ahead and remove the factory hardware holding the factory Sway Bar into place. Uh, so the four upper bolts on the frame side, uh, we will not be reusing these bolts. Uh, same goes for the two bolts holding the factory end links in place at the axle. We'll go ahead and remove those, set those aside. Again, we're not using those. After years of installing these sway bars, we have figured out uh, some te techniques and shortcuts, basically how to make this a little easier. 
Uh, so what, when we install these sway bars here in our shop, believe it or not, we actually assemble them off the bench. It saves us a little bit of time because basically you can go ahead and put the arms and the brackets on from outside of either side of the bar, rather than hammering it all the way through. Um, both techniques work, uh, so you can, you know, if you follow the instructions to the T, basically what you'll end up doing is hammering the, the bar itself through the brackets after you mount them to the frame. Uh, again, both techniques work. We've just found that it's been a little easier for us to go ahead and assemble these off the truck. Um, 2014 to 2018 trucks utilize a different uh, machine washer. 2019, 2020, and newer trucks uh, utilize a different washer. They're both included in the sway bar kit. Um, also, if you have a 2003, 2012 trucks, uh, same idea applies, uh, all the necessary hardware is included. Uh, so what we've done here is we've gone ahead and assembled the sway bar off the truck. Um, both of the major retaining, or the retaining bolts that hold the sway bar together are in place. Uh, arms are on the sway bar. Uh, having a rubber mallet or dead blow of some sort does help uh, in terms of getting the arms onto the bar itself. Uh, once you've got this assembled, we can go ahead and uh, uh, tighten the end links up. Uh, it's very important when assembling the end links that you utilize Loctite. Uh, we've seen a lot of issues with installations on these when the jam nuts aren't uh, sufficiently torqued into place uh, without any sort of Loctite and you can actually wear out the center all thread sections of the end links. This sway bar, we will uh, utilize the supplied uh, uh, 10.9 bolts that hold the sway bar in place on the frame. There are four of them. Uh, it actually helps to have a second person with you doing this. If, if one person holds one side in place, you hold the other side in place. It makes it real easy to uh, basically maneuver the sway bar where it needs to go. And uh, as far as the axle side, Super straightforward. Uh, the Carly supplies grade eight hardware. You'll go ahead and use that to affix end links to the axle. Uh, double check once you have everything in place, everything uh, appears correct. Uh, verify against the instructions, end link orientation is correct. That's really critical. Believe it or not, we've actually seen end links oriented incorrectly, which is a major problem as far as uh, the functionality of the sway bar. So once everything's in place, we'll go ahead and torque, use it, uh, torque everything in place utilizing the supplied torque specs and the instructions. And uh, now that we have the sway bar uh, where it needs to be, let's go ahead and take this bad boy for a spin. Got the sway bar put in. Uh, we're at the same trail we were at previously. Uh, we try to maintain the same speed. Um, Already on the approach, you can kind of tell how much softer it is, at least seat of the pants. You don't get that same uh, side to side rock kind of feeling. I mean, it still, still moves granted, but it's not, it doesn't feel like you're bracing for impact over every single little imperfection, which is really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that same spot. And uh, again, keeping speed same as we had it before. and tell how, just how much smoother it really is. Um, didn't almost hit my head on the window this time, so that's kind of a, a nice change. Uh, one thing we did notice is that this truck is definitely going to need more trimming. So previously, uh, you go to full lock, the truck would contact the sway bar. Now we can really go to full lock and the truck is actually uh, touching plastic again. So no big deal, we'll get that trimmed and uh, again, significantly improved over before and uh, very happy with the results. As you can see, uh, ride quality is substantially improved actually on and off road. Um, I'd say as far as the different suspension and ride quality related upgrades we offer, uh, nothing really does quite what the sway bar does in terms of ride quality for one individual component. Uh, this truck was already considerably softer than the Carly with the Carly system that was on it, um, but believe it or not, it, it is actually that much better with the sway bar installed on it. This is again uh, something that works on stock trucks, works on Carly you know, three inch trucks, two and a half inch level setups. Uh, also, it works on taller trucks in some cases, as we've seen. Um, you will want to utilize, say your truck has a six inch or eight inch lift on it, something like that. You'll want to make sure to utilize the, uh, the sway bar drop bracket included in your kit. Uh, we can't guarantee uh, fitment with all sway bar drop brackets, uh, but we have seen it done in the past, so there is a way to do it. 
Um, only time I'd say we don't recommend this sway bar is for trucks with permanent bed mounted, uh, extremely heavy camper setups uh, that are very top heavy. Um, other than that, um, in our own personal experience, I've had this sway bar on several trucks in the past. Uh, you know, even with towing, uh, we had a fifth wheel set up with one of these sway bars. Uh, we had no issues with it. So it really is an all around uh, improvement, again, for stock trucks, lifted trucks. One of the best uh, options as far as an individual component that Carly offers. Um, we are uh, excited to keep showing you guys different upgrades as we perform them on this build. There's a lot more to come. So thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel. A lot more similar content coming up. And uh, thanks again.